I'm Joe Mullings. I've been in the search industry for over three decades. I uh, started as an engineer and went to the dark side to headhunting, where I found it fascinating to be able to align with entrepreneurs and people who came up with amazing technologies. And as a search organization, I started out as a search consultant and then built the Mullings Group Companies and Mullings Group Search, which allows us to get involved in amazing technologies with really smart people and bring forth to market um, technologies that basically are changing the way healthcare is provided. The Mullings Group Companies is a strategically designed family of companies that is built around building companies and careers. So there's the sort of cornerstone of it, uh, the search organization. There's also the media marketing end of TMG companies which is Dragonfly Stories. Dragonfly Stories was intended to tell stories at scale uh, around technologies, entrepreneurs, and markets emerging in the life sciences, medtech, and health tech world. Uh, we've got locations in North America, in the UK, and APAC region. Uh, we have stitched these organizations together so they work in harmony with each other in telling the stories and amazing technologies that save and extend lives in the medical device industry. Our work in the surgical robotics world started about, gosh, about eight or nine years ago um, at scale. Before that, we had done quite a bit of work in smaller initiatives, building out surgical robotic companies, but really onesies and twosies. But in about 2014, 2015, we aligned with Johnson & Johnson and Google and Scott Hunnikins, and we had built out Verb Surgical, which I really think, uh, outside of Intuitive, was the first large initiative, large scale soft tissue surgical robotic build. And from there, we got a chance to really look at what it takes to build a surgical robotic company. And now we applied that over the years, whether it's orthopedics, whether it's soft tissue, whether it's neuro, whether it's ophthalmology, we cover all of surgical robotics, design, development, clin, reg, qual, education, all of those very specific functions that are required to put forth, get over the line, FDA as well as commercial, a world-class robotic system. What I get most excited about the surgical robotics industry is we really are at our infancy. It will be a challenge the next couple of years because at the beginning of the journey, it seems many people have an entrenched thought about what surgical robotics is and what surgical robotics isn't. And I think surgical robotics is gonna be a lot more of what it is not today. We're starting to see technologies outside large scale format robots. We're starting to see surgical assists. We're starting to see the physician, the surgeon to stay in the sterile field during surgery. So while it's great to be one of the pioneers and recognized as a pioneer in this space. I am most excited about where it's going because it's gonna be a lot more of what we don't know what it is today than what it is. The next five to 10 years in surgical robotics is gonna be fascinating. I think the FDA is gonna change some of its position on what is surgical robotics and what is not. I think the acceleration of imaging, navigation, and visualization are going to leapfrog because technology, sensors, and AI is going to come into play there. I also believe that this digital surgery, surgical robotics, is going to be as much about advisement in the middle of a surgery as it is the surgery itself. And I do think that we're going to start to incorporate other technologies that have been outside of medical device into sort of this orchestra of ideas and technologies that will just bring care beyond what it is today. When we were alerted that we had received this award, um, and I said we because uh, while I may represent uh, the winner of the award, it's really the TNG organizations. You know, on the other side of this media effort is Dragonfly Stories. Dragonfly Stories has traveled the world telling the stories about robotics innovation uh, in Germany, in Israel, in Italy, in the UK, and we've traveled around the US. Um, so the acknowledgement that we're moving forward, the awareness and the great minds and execution on surgical robotics 
from both the search perspective as well as the media marketing perspective uh, and the peers that then said, you know what? It's okay that you don't make a robot yourself, but you're moving the industry forward, the category forward with challenging and even offering provocative conversations about where this industry should go. Um, I'm floored by the support and the confirmation that we are just one way to move surgical robotics forward in this great industry.